Welcome, I'm Todd Ellis. It is my pleasure to introduce the 34th head football coach at the University of South Carolina, Will Muschamp. Coach, congratulations. We're so pleased to have you here. Welcome to Carolina football. Uh, what attracted you to the Gamecocks? What didn't attract me to come into South Carolina? Number one, the leadership of our school, President Pastides, has done a wonderful job since 2008 of moving this university in the right direction. Coach Tanner is an athletic director. Meeting with him, I kind of saw the blue collar mentality and the attitude that I have. And to see where this program's come under Coach Spurrier, uh, to continue to build on what he's established and take it to new heights, we're really excited about being here. You have had some incredible coaches you've worked with and under. Mac Brown, Gus Malzahn, you mentioned uh, a lot of these guys. Who molded your career and, and, and put you in a place where you could be the head coach at a major university like this? Well, I think you, you learn a lot about what to do. You learn a lot about what not to do from different people and your own experiences. And I couldn't, I, I would be unfair to even mention one of those coaches because Roy Kidd's a guy that won over 300 games at Eastern Kentucky that I work for too. And you throw Nick Saban in there. But really, probably the time I spent with Nick as far as, you know, schematically, but also from a program management just does an outstanding job. And I had three great years at the University of Texas with Mac Brown. You were 2012 SEC Coach of the Year. I didn't see one year in the rankings that in recruiting that you were less than number five or six in the country overall. It's tough to translate that, though, with a great program like Florida and a big base like that. How do you see recruiting going here at South Carolina, and, and what do you take? What are some of the elements that you take into recruiting you got to get done? Recruiting is all about relationships, and it's about building those relationships and building trust with the people. When that student athlete comes here, they're going to have a great experience, and they will have a great experience. But we got to take back the state. That's number one. we we got to win the state of South Carolina. We need to go into North Carolina, which I've had a lot of success assigning young men out of there at the University of Florida, and we got to do a great job in Georgia and Florida and I've got great name recognition and I'm going to hire guys that can recruit well in those two states. You mentioned Harris Pastides and, and Director <coughs> of Athletics Ray Tanner. You meet all the dignitaries but do you, you know anything about your team yet? Have you seen any film? Do you know anything about uh, the players you'll be working with. Well, I do. You know, most of these guys have come across you in the recruiting process, so I'm excited about meeting those guys tonight for the first time and, and kind of uh, introducing myself to them and, and what we're expecting within our program. And I can't wait to get started on January 13th with our football team. What do you see our offense looking like? Well, again, I think a lot of the ideas that Coach Spurrier and his offensive staff has had here as far as spreading the field, being in the shotgun, being up-tempo with what we want to be able to do. But, again, I looked at what Gus was able to do with the run game and combining that off the play actions and some of the things we did at Auburn I really want to incorporate with what we do but the big thing we want to do is play fast and take care of the football if we do that we're going to score enough points now this is an obvious one you're only 44 years old it's rare that a coach of your age much less anybody gets two chances at a power five school all within about 12 or 13 months of time frame that says a lot about you somebody saying some good things about you but you had to have learned something in your time at Florida what would change or what would you, what lessons did you learn in that last role as a head coach well there's too many to really we ain't got enough time to go through that heck I got to go recruit but uh, <laughs> maybe but, that's lesson one <laughs> that, that's number one <laughs> But uh, I think more than anything, you just continue to surround yourself with good people. And, and that's, you know, as much as anything, stay healthy. Uh, our third season there, we, did was, we were uh, devastated with injuries and things that happened to us. But that's part of the game. you got to coach your way through those situations. But certainly, I'm a better coach than I was five years ago. I'm a better husband. I'm a better father. Uh, you know, all of the things you improve if you're willing to go back and look at your experiences and say, you know what, I could have done this a little differently. But on all situations, you're making decisions based on the information you have. And and so those are things you got to be able to learn from. You've been around this conference, this part of the country for a long time. You're probably really aware how badly the Gamecock Nation wants a winning football program and the sacrifices they've made to it. What, what message would you have for them as you just start your first couple of days here at South Carolina? What you see is the vision for Carolina football? Well, it's going to be fun. And the big thing right now is we got to roll our sleeves up and go to work as a staff. And, and, I, and nobody's asking anybody to be patient because I'm the most impatient person there is in the world. So we just need to understand and support this staff and support this football team and what we need to do to be successful. And we're going to put a great product on the field. we got great fans. I, I got exposed in 19 
1980 Gator Bowl to South Carolina and Pittsburgh, and I watched George Rogers and Hugh Green go after it in the Gator Bowl there. That was my first South Carolina game, and I remember it. I think I was eight years old back then. I mean, you, you didn't play on that team, did not you? On, not in 80. Okay, a little bit good. after that. All right, good. <laughs> but, uh, but, no, I'm really excited about getting started. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to represent the University of South Carolina in a first-class manner, and, and we're going to have an outstanding staff that's going to recruit the type of student-athlete that you want to represent your university. And our guys are going to play hard. They're going to play fast. They're going to play physical, and we're going to play winning football. I assume, like most athletes and coaches, uh, you are a massive competitor. Everything I've seen about you and your coaching style shows that you have significant intensity. Mm -hmm. How did you get that reputation? Where does that come from? And, and how does that spill out of you? Well, there's nothing like being in the arena. I really enjoy the competitive edge of, that's one of the huge evaluations in the recruiting process is what kind of competitive edge does a young man have? Because there's a bunch of guys that can run fast and jump high, but they can't play dead in a Western. And especially if they don't like competition, they don't like competing, you want guys in your program that want to compete. It starts with our staff. Because generally, most of the time, a player is going to take the, the personality that his coach has. And I want our guys playing fast and physical and furious on the field, playing with a relentless attitude and effort in what they do and how they approach the game. And, and that's how I'm going to approach it. So I want our guys to play like that and feel that from their staff. Coach, congratulations. The new University of South Carolina head football coach, Will Muschamp.